Good evening everybody, Bobby D here. Welcome to Daily Prayer Time for this June 22nd. Usually it's me and my mom, but tonight my mom's at a wedding in out of a location for usually broadcasting the prayer video. She's in the White Mountains. What, get, being part of a wedding. So that's what's going on. That's where my mom is. So let's go on. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this night our daily rest and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, dear Lord, into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, for thy is the kingdom and the power of glory ever and ever. Good night, God. A healing prayer for the sick and the loved ones. Heavenly Father, I pray in Jesus' name they get rid of all the ailments that a person or people are having. I know you, t you take away burdens off of people. And I pray for you to heal them. Heal them from every sickness possible, every addiction, every calamity, and everything that goes with it. I pray to get healthy and all that so they can honor you our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen June 22nd Jesus is calling they need for the very things that are troubling you let me read this again. Thank me for the very things that are troubling you. You are on the brink of rebellion, precariously close to shaking your fist in my face. You are tempted to indulge in just a little compl complaining about my treatment of you. But once you step over the, that line, torrents of rage and self pity can sweep you away. The best protection against this indulgence is thanksgiving. It is impossible to thank me and curse me at the same time. Thanking me for the trials will feel awkward and contrived at first, but if you persist, your thankful words Prayed in faith will actually make a difference in your heart. Thankfulness awakens you to my presence, which overshadow your problems. Psalm 116, verse 17, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. Now we're getting to uh, we're going back to Second Kings right now for this. Priest's anger response. When Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel, Amos is raising a conspiracy against you in the very heart of Israel. The land cannot bear all his words, for this is what Amos is saying. Jeroboam will die by the sword. And Israel will surely go into exile away from their native land. Then Amaziah said to Amos, Get out, you seer. Go back to 
looking at the computer. Earn your bread there and do your prophesying there. Don't prophesy anymore at Bethel because this is the king's sanctuary and the temple of the kingdom. Amos' answer? Amos answer Amaziah. I was never a prophet nor son of a prophet, but I was a shepherd. And I also took care of Sikh War fig trees. But the Lord took me from sending the flock and said, It's to me, said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Now then, hear the word of the Lord, you say. Do not prophesy against Israel and stop preaching against the descendants of Isaac. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city. Your, your sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Your land will be measured and divided up. And you yourself will die in a pagan country. And Israel will surely go into exile away from your near land. Wickedness, the wickedness which, uh, the wickedness against which Amos speaks is also seen in the political chaos which comes following Jeroboam's death in Israel. The death of Jeroboam II. As for the other events of Jeroboam's reign, all he did and his military achievements, including how he recovered for his report to massacre hunt, which ever belonged to Judah. Are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Jeroboam rested with his ancestors, the kings of Israel. Zechariah, king of Israel. And Zechariah, his son, succeeded him as king. In the 38th year of Uzziah, king of Judah, Zechariah, son of Jeroboam, became king of Israel and Samaria. He reigned six months. Zechariah's character, he did evil in the eyes of the Lord, as his predecessors had done. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. Zechariah assassinated. Shalom son of Jabesh conspired against Zechariah. He attacked him in front of the people, assassinated him, and succeeded him as king. The elements of Zechariah's reign are written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel. Promise to Jehu fulfilled. So the word was spoken to Jehu was fulfilled. Your descendants will sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. Shagum assassinated. Shagum son of Jabesh became king in the 39th year of Uzziah king of Judah. He reigned in Samaria for one month. Then Menenheim, son of Gadai, went to Terza up in Samaria. He attacked Shalom, son of Gibash, in Samaria, assassinated him and succeeded him as king. The other events of Shalom's reign the conspiracy he led are written in the books of the annals of the kings of Israel. Menenheim, king of Israel. At that time, Menenheim started out from Terza and attacked Tipsa, and everyone in the city and the its vicinity because they refused to open their gates. He sacked Tipsa and ripped open all the pregnant women. In the 39th year of Osiris, king of Judah, when he was son of Gad, son of Gadai, became king of Israel, 
and he reigned in Samaria for 10 years. Mendenheim's character, he did evil in the eyes of the Lord during his entire reign and he did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Bath, which he had caused Israel to commit. Era of Uzziah in Jotham and Judah. Since at least 767 BC, King Uzziah, also known as Azariah, has reigned over Judah with great success. But his good fortune is about to go to his head. He will suffer serious illness, and his presumptuousness, Uzziah's illness, will necessitate a co-region to run the day by day affairs of the state. In filling that role, Uzziah's son Jotham is a good leader, but he is not the right religious man needed by the materialistic and moral, unjust and complacent complacent people. In Judah Satan makes Uzziah Leprous. But after Uzziah became powerful, his pride led to his downfall. He was unfaithful to the Lord, his God, and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Uzziah, the priest, with 80 other courageous priests of the Lord, followed him in. They confronted King Uzziah and said, It is not right for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord. That is for the priests, the descendants of Aaron, who have been consecrated to burn incense. Leave the sanctuary, for you have been unfaithful, and you will be, not be honored by the Lord God. Uzziah, who had a censer in his hand ready to burn incense, became angry. While he was raging at the priests in their presence before the eyes the incense altar, in the Lord's temple, leprosy broke out on his forehead. And Azariah, the chief priest, and all the other priests looked at him. They saw him that he had love seen his forehead. So they heard him out. Indeed. He himself was eager to leave because the Lord had afflicted him. King Uzziah, because the Lord had afflicted him. King Uzziah had love seen until the day he died. He lived in a separate house, leprous and banned from the temple of the Lord. Jotham co regent. Jotham and his son had charge of the palace and governed the people of the land. Heavenly Father, I bore your best in the name of Jesus, that the devil has no more power over me not believe any of his lies. Always remember. The devil breaks the power of blind signs and big wonders. The days are coming. The end times are coming. Um, sometimes they bring blessings. Sometimes they bring other stuff. But the end times are coming. Are you ready for the rapture? Are you ready for the rapture? Because Jesus is calling you to follow the Bible, to read it. The truth about it is you must read the Bible as perfectly as possible. That, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. The only one that's perfect was God. Do I want to with God? I am not a God, my mom's not a God, and you are not a God. You can't believe in false prophets. 
False promise can get you to a place where you burn for life. You gotta believe in God very much. Most definitely. You gotta go to where your Lord and Savior wants you to be. You need to pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I fully confess that I am a sinner. And I know Lord Jesus, you died for my sins. Please, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And please protect me for all my iniquities and forgive me for all my sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being in my life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So when you accept Christ, you have to accept Christ as you go and say your but you gotta confess that you're a sinner and acknowledge that Jesus died for your sins. That's the total truth about it. It's tough these days with all these religions. Religions don't work. Religions don't work. It's, you must have a relationship with Christ. You have to go to a Bible studying church. You have to go to a Bible edifying church. Who, read, who admires the Bible and always follows it. It's just that a lot of things are going on in this world that are not very good. I know there's idols and people who look up the wrong way. There's lusts and crushes. That's temptation. That is temptation. That is the truth about it. You need to stop the temptation and trust in God. Whatever it takes, trust in God. That's the total brutal honesty about it. You gotta trust in God. I know my mom will say other things tomorrow. But I pray for a hedge of protection over her. Have we pray pray a hedge of protection over my mom and her traveling mercies when he comes back home? That is the truth about it. I am surprised of what's going on in this world today. If it has to be with politics, if it has to be with pop culture, or it has to be with immorality that is going on in this world. But it's time to stop all the evil things and to be with God and His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the truth. So, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, you really take care of yourselves and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. So, you guys take care of yourself. Good night and amen.